Hello, Aleli. Santiago Morena, how are you? Guys, I'm teacher. Great. Santiago, your microphone is on mute. We don't hear you. Mm -hmm. All right. So, guys, tell me a little bit about your day. What did you do today? Problem technique, Santi. <laughs> a little bit of technical problems, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. There you uh, go. <laughs> Santi is DJ. There you go. Yeah, it looks like DJ, right? English <laughs> corporativo. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. I'm glad that you are connected and we are ready to begin. So before we begin, let's take a moment and discuss what did you do today? Remember to use the past tense and give us some details. Tell us, what did you do today? How was your day at work or at school or in the office? Mm -hmm. Or at home. Or at home, exactly. At work at home. And work my and my work is in line, um, in front of my home. Um, okay, I cook in my family. <laughs> With... I clean my house. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, um, body work. Okay, much work. Lots of work. Lots of work. Yes. Yes. Okay. Give us some more details. What did you cook? What did you do? What do you do online? Mm -hmm. So, Mona, what did you do? Um, uh, today I was um, work in office and. I work in, in, in my house and preparing dinner uh, and wash vegetables and fruit and clean the house, more or less. <laughs> okay, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. All right, great. Okay. Uh huh. And Myrin, what about you? How was your day? Hi, teacher. You can hear you? Yes, yes Myrin. Okay. Uh, today in the morning, I was running in, in, in the park. Um, in the morning, I was studying, studying um, online. Um, in the afternoon, uh, I I I help help you. Uh, my father, I I ayudé a mi padre. I I helped my father. I helped my father. Mm -hmm. Um, and I I. Uh, I was cook, cooking the dinner. Good. Remember, at night, not in the at night. night. Mm -hmm. At night. Okay. At night. Great. Aleli, what about you? How was your day today? Oh, I am participating. And the first I'm participating. Mm. That's right. I didn't see that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Do you Again. like my name? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. oh, you... Santi, Santi. Well, in my case, I was in my job. Uh, I was making advertising, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't know if you are making advertising. I was, I was making advertising, yes. Okay. Uh, it is not advertising, it's advertisements. Advertisement. 
Correct. Okay. Advertising is the action. Advertisement is the thing. Okay. Um, I was in my in my office all day, time a of a in the morning to four o'clock, and I need some I need some rest. Well, time, but we are ready. Santiago, do you create the advertisement? Yes, teacher. I'm a pro producer. I am. I'm a. I'm a producer. Graphic designer. No. Uh, no. Uh, okay. Musical DJ. producer. Okay. Oh, so I'm an actor. DJ. A DJ. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Only Friday. DJ. Uh, How do you say productor? Producer. Producer. But what kind of productor? Music ah. producer, music, uh, film producer, that what music, the, to, to music. Work, to radio. Uh, okay. Yes, sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you make all of the music for the advertisement. Yes. The da, 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 okay. Change. Change. You have, how do you say cuñas? Cuñas. What cuñas? Cuñas publicitarias. Publicitarias. Ah, I don't know cuñas. Are ah, there cuña. posters or? Es un término radial. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe ah. music? Es como la música, la música de algunos eh, comerciales. Uh -huh. mm. Commercial advertisement. Así, vea. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's okay. that is my, my, my job. <laughs> like, like um, almost like, do you watch Two and a Half Men? Yes. Like Charlie. You are like Charlie. Charlie, Charlie. You are, oh, yes. you make the jingle. I need some beer. <laughs> ah, okay. Like Charlie. Okay. Good. Like, you okay. like Charlie, that. I understand. Great. Okay, teacher. Okay. Perfect. My life. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, yes. guys. Today, we're going to go ahead and continue with unit one and finish unit one. I'm going to show you a small video and help us remember a little bit about yesterday. Yesterday, we were talking about hypothetical situations. Remember, hypothetical situations are called conditional sentences. Specifically, the ones that we saw yesterday are third condition. You... These are the conditionals that we have this structure. In conditional sentences, we use this type of examples. We are going to use if, we are going to use the morals and have. Today, I'm going to present to you a little bit better structure so that we can understand. Here, you can see my examples. How is the correct? So if I use if, I'm going to use the past perfect. And then in the other clause, I can use a model. For example, would, could, or might. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger to make sure that it's clear for you, okay? And I here, I have green, green, orange, orange, so that you can see the examples for each one. But always in the if is the same structure. These are all talking about things that we imagined in the past. These are all of the things that are impossible to change because they are in the past. So we're going to have, if I had studied, Oh, you imagine in the past, I would have passed the exam. This is, I believe, I could have passed the exam. This is maybe, I might have passed the exam. I'm not sure, but possibly. This is the idea for how we use the third conditional. Remember the third conditional? Also, here are some more. If I had been, then we have the situation and the consequence, like cause and effect. It's okay, the examples, it's okay, the structure. This is the grammatical structure. And here are the examples. Aleli? Excuse me, teacher. And uh, the platform is um, exercise uh, 3.7. Um, um, I know, I have the problem. Yes, show, show, have the dresses in. 
el exercise for one is show in in is not correct is I'm sorry, lady. In which section are you talking about? A tree. In section three. Y es está es um, es este tema. Y me tengo problemas en en la en la plataforma que no sé. Pero ese es este tema. Pero estás hablando de dos unidades adelante. Ay, en la unidad tres. ¿Verdad? Y estamos Está... en la Sí. Estamos, okay. o sea que tengo que retroceder entonces yeah, exacto, exacto tú estás okay, hablando okay. de la unidad 3 es que prácticamente terminé terminé and uh, finished the platform ah, excellent, excellent it's good that you finish the platform wonderful, but remember si no las puedes hacer bien no importa que lo hayas terminado tenés que entender por qué está mal let's take a look exacto, right? eso es lo que me ha atrasado porque he regresado y digo, ¿por qué? ¿Por qué? O sea, si, si, la, si estoy viendo lo, el, it's in English, it's in English, la fórmula, right? la fórmula uh -huh. entonces uh -huh. digo, ¿por qué la fórmula no, 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 me, no me complementa aquí? ¿Por qué no me... Bueno, ahí estoy trabada. Number Quizás tengo 3. que... que and three. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. And number one, uh -huh. a show. Show... show eh, entonces el verbo es dress Ajá. cuando te, que dice que tengo que poner dress y ese es mi problema es show show have have dress dress put in the chat let me see the answers in the chat and then I can tell you if it's correct or not correct okay no okay. problem don't problem okay. Oh, I'm right. sorry, teacher. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's good that you are going ahead. The idea is if you can go ahead, go ahead. It's not a problem. Right now we are in 1.9 and we are going to take a look at practicing this so that it's clear for us. Today, I'm going to give you some links and we're going to practice focusing on that exercise. Remember, we're going to use the third conditional. This is if and then had the past perfect and then the second part, the present perfect, would have, could have, and so on. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Teacher. Yes. Please, please, sir. You can, you can uh, share the picture uh, before? Yes, one moment. I'm only going to change please, the please. name for Jaime because Jaime is going to be oyente today. And then that way I don't forget. Okay, sure, of course. Let me show you the picture one more time. Um, the how to have the correct grammar structure. This here, remember, in the top is the grammar structure. In the bottom are three different examples. The structure yeah. are the same. Mm -hmm. You you can share in the group, teacher. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. You're Thank welcome. You. You're welcome. Okay. So we have the three different things. We're going to have the first link is going to be the idea for the instructions or the grammar rule. That's the first one. You can check the grammar. The second or and then the other links are practice. So the ones with the number are exercises that you're going to practice with your partners to make sure that we understand and we un we can use the third conditional. Please copy or open the links before we make the groups. Remember, if you do not copy or open the links, when we make the groups, you are going to lose all of the links. Teacher, is necessary to uh, install it? No, no. No, okay. Okay. Does everybody have the links? Yes, teacher. Yes? yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, perfect. As you can see, the links are in reference to multiple choice. So for multiple choice, 
the three links, we are going to have 12 minutes. Remember, you read, you look, you select. It's only selection. You don't have to write or anything. It's only to practice to make sure we have the correct ideas. If we had the subject with motto, would have, could have, might have. Okay. Let's try one more time with our partners. Let's go. Anybody having any problems? Luis, are you having some problems? I don't listen to you. Any comments, questions? Luis? Hi, to wrap up this section, we want you to work on your pronunciation. Please listen and practice. Notice how have and been are reduced in these sentences. I should have been less selfish when I was younger. If I'd been more ambitious, I could have gotten a promotion. You may complete these sentences and practice them in class. Pay attention to the reduced form of have and been. Hi, to wrap up this section, we want you to work on your pronunciation. Please listen and practice. Notice how have and been are reduced in these sentences. I should have been less selfish when I was younger. If I'd been more ambitious, I could have gotten a promotion. You may complete these sentences and practice them in class. Pay attention to the reduced form of have and been. Page 76, Exercise 11, Listening, Regrets, Part A, Listen to people describe their regrets. Complete the chart. 1. Barbara, 
I always regret that I didn't take typing in high school. I was stupid, really. Once I got to college, I discovered I had to type all my assignments, and I sort of taught myself how to do it. But I can't type half as well as friends of mine who took it in high school. It takes me twice as long to type anything as it takes them. 2. Alex I should never have stopped exercising. It's the dumbest thing I've ever done. I've been trying to lose weight for the last year and a half, and it's really difficult. I guess I was just like everyone else at my age. I thought I would be thin forever, and I ate junk food all the time. It was okay then because I was playing tennis, hockey, and soccer. Then, after college, I got busy and quit playing sports. But now I'm determined to join a gym because I know I can't get healthy by just dieting. Besides, I love potato chips. 3. Yishan If I'd had a choice, I would have learned to play the guitar when I was a kid. My parents made me study the piano, and I only studied classical music. I love the piano, but it's not very practical. I mean, you can't take a piano with you to a party. But I love it at a party when someone brings a guitar, and they can play songs and everyone sings along. I wish I could do that. Page 76, Exercise 11, Part B. Listen again. What effect have the regrets had on each person's life? 1. Barbara I always regret that I didn't take typing in high school. I was stupid, really. Once I got to college, I discovered I had to type all my assignments, and I sort of taught myself how to do it. But I can't type half as well as friends of mine who took it in high school. It takes me twice as long to type anything as it takes them. 2. Alex I should never have stopped exercising. It's the dumbest thing I've ever done. I've been trying to lose weight for the last year and a half, and it's really difficult. I guess I was just like everyone else at my age. I thought I would be thin forever, and I ate junk food all the time. It was okay then because I was playing tennis, hockey, and soccer. Then, after college, I got busy and quit playing sports. But now I'm determined to join a gym because I know I can't get healthy by just dieting. Besides, I love potato chips. 3. Yishan If I'd had a choice, I would have learned to play the guitar when I was a kid. My parents made me study the piano, and I only studied classical music. I love the piano, but it's not very practical. I mean, you can't take a piano with you to a party. But I love it at a party when someone brings a guitar, and they can play songs and everyone sings along. I wish I could do that. The program continues on the next CD. Okay. That's the best for that one. Okay, so we have a couple of exercises. Hopefully everything is getting clear. We're going to make sure everything is fine. Let's take a look, make sure everybody's doing good. <laughs> Hi, teacher. <laughs> okay, you, yeah. it's okay. Number three. Number three. Change your thing. Okay. 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 Uh, conditional sentences. I... Exercise easy, easy. <laughs> okay. If if, if, uh, if, 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 if
Eh, luego está el if clause aquí al final. So, in this case, you, you need to use we would have got lost if we hadn't had a map. But because you are changing the, the position of the clauses in this case, right? So, it's the same observation here. You have if at the beginning, and so we want to use had here because you have the past perfect here. So uh, they would have bought something here. So in this case as well, we- in the, in the Naulinga village, in the same town. Uh, what did you name school? Cristobal Colón. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, very interesting. Um, what uh, uh, what is the ne level? Second, In third, cy third cycle. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. In charge yes. with uh, the study, uh, studying every day. Yes, yes. Every day, all day, working the school. There are six, from six until six. Okay. Mm -hmm. You are teacher. Yes, I am a teacher. Excellent. Congratulations. Thank you very much. And I it's possible. A, hmm? I am a coaching. I am a coaching. Uh, a coaching? Things, uh, 12. Gerard in this company. Mm, very good. Mm -hmm. It's good. Ma had gone, Lydia. Yeah. We had gone. Had gone. Ajá, mira ahí en la número dos está yeah. repetido el had had. Ya viste. Had had. Ajá. Yeah. Ajá. Like no es correcto, it. pienso yo. Yeah, I had a question. <laughs> Dice, en number two, I repeat, <laughs> had had. Is correct? Time is over. It's correct. It's correct. Okay. Very good. Now we have the idea. I know that there was a question about have had. This is correct. Remember, have. You repeat. Obligation because it's the auxiliary, right? Mm. Always, always have. The difference is the verb. I had, I have gone, I have eaten, I have had. The difference is one is the time, have, and the other is the action, had. Time, past tense. Being. Did you know it? Uh, a past tense in the have been. Have been. It's okay because remember, have is the obligation. Uh -huh. Then the other is the action. Have gone, have been, have seen, have whatever you want. But the second is the activity. The have is not activity. Have is the time. Yes. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Now with the fill-in, it's easier because we have a better understanding. Only select. Ah, ta, 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 ta. In this moment, we are not going to select. In this moment, now we're going to practice writing. Now we have to make the correct decision. What is the correct way to complete these sentences? What is the correct way to rearrange them, okay? We have to put them in the correct order. So if I listen to my parents, decisions I pragmatic would more made have, ooh, this is not the correct order. <laughs> you and your partners now have to write the correct orders, okay? This is going to be part that now that we're going to do with our partners, but Remember, you are not going to write all of the sentence, only going to write the answer, okay? So you're not going to copy all the sentence, only write the correct form. So for example, here, 
this part, I, you are not going to copy and put here. You're only going to put this part in the correct order in the space. Only put this part in the correct order here. You are not going to copy this part. It's clear? Yes, it's yes, I clear. Yeah, okay. it's clear. Yeah, ready. Excellent. All right. So for this exercise, this is 1.10 in the platform. So 1.10 with our partners. We're only going to take a few minutes because it's only five sentences. And we only want to make sure that we put in the correct order. Let me give you a few minutes and let's go. Wait, sir. It's no. I wouldn't be overweight. I I wouldn't be overweight. Hmm. Uh, that one is mine. I could, I could have. Yeah, number three. I could have. Gotten a promotion. I number uh -huh. three, Aleli. I call. I have. Call. I call. See, I call. Have. What is the number? Three. Have. Three. I call. Have. No, it's a, like, exercise. No. Great. Okay. The number one, two, three. Five. We finish. Yes. Got it. And check this out. And great. Do you have any questions? Uh, no teacher in this moment. So far so good. So far so good. So far so good. Okay. Now you're going to practice completing those sentences with your information. As an example, if I'd listened to my parents, oh, I would have gone to the university after high school. Oh. If I had been more active, uh, I would have explored more and done more extreme sports. Now with your partner, complete the five sentences with your information. 
with our information. Correct. Okay. Good moment. Guys, we're ready to. Okay. Hmm. If I. Okay, let's go. <laughs> if I listen to. Mm -hmm. Si yo hubiera. Escuchado a mis padres. Ah, if I listen to my parent. If I listen to my parent. I will, I will have. I will have. Yo okay. tendría. Uh, more fluency, Santiago. Uh, 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 si no vas a tener una conversación con alguien. <laughs> uh, no, es que, es que estoy pensando. I, I think it, teacher. Sí. Uh, sorry. I think it might, it might, it might sentence. Uh, ok. Es que cuando, cuando uno necesita no se le ocurre nada, pero... Yes. En mi mente entiendo perfecto y hablo bien fluido. Se va mi mente. <laughs> My mente is lost. My mind is lost. It's okay. The others can go. Don't worry. Don't worry. Everybody can okay. try. Go for it. Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. I have a bad news. Mira, he sido más activo. Sobrepeso no lo haría. Ah, vamos a ver. I wouldn't be. I. Oh, wait. No, I be. I be. I be. Ah. I be. I be wouldn't. Uh -huh. I be wouldn't. Ah. Uh -huh. Yo no estaría, no, para mí que es, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be. Uh -huh. Overweight. Overweight. Uh -huh. No estaría, no estaría con sobrepeso. Entiendo. I wouldn't be overweight. Wait, wait, overweight. Overweight. Uh -huh. Overweight. 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 Okay, very good. I see most groups were almost completed, some completed, and we only had to practice. So number one, if I listen to my parents, I will help me more pragmatic decision. decision. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. I would have made more pragmatic decisions. What about number two? If I had been more active? I wouldn't be mm -hmm. overweight. Overweight. Okay. Good. And number three? If I'd been more ambitious? Sorry. I could have gotten a promotion. Okay, good. I could have gotten a promotion. Number four. I have could no. I, I have learned. I told. Uh, I could have learned. Okay, I could have learned a lot more. More, I could have learned more. More a lot. More a lot. Mm. Okay. Don't no, it's a learn a lot more. Ah, a lot more. Uh, I could have learned a lot, a lot, lot more. more. Ah, okay. Number five. Yeah. Mm hmm. I will. I wouldn't be as broadcast. 
as broad as broadcast I am now. Okay, very nice. Now you can see that all of those are correct ideas that we have. Remember, I would have, yeah. I would have, I would have made more pragmatic decisions. I wouldn't be overweight. I could have gotten a promotion. I could have learned a lot more. And I wouldn't be as broke as I am now. Good job. Only we're going to practice a little bit more. In the next one, we're going to learn how to pronounce this in contractions. So, very good. Let's listen a little bit of pronunciation. Hi. To wrap up this section, we want you to work on your pronunciation. Please listen and practice. Notice how have and been are reduced in these sentences. I should have been less selfish when I was younger. If I'd been more ambitious, I could have gotten a promotion. You may complete these sentences and practice them in class. Pay attention to the reduced form of have and been. Okay, so what's the important? The important is that you don't have to speak that way, but you have to understand that when the people say, I should have, I should have been, is the same, I should have been. But many times the people make the contraction and not pronounce ha, only pronounce of. I should have been. The same here, if I'd been, okay? It's not a big deal, but it's important that you understand when someone speaks. Why? Because in this moment, we're going to listen to three people speaking and pronouncing like that. And we want to identify how each person felt and their regrets. So we're going to listen to the three people and what were the regrets for each person. Are you ready to listen? Uh, yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, Let's teacher. listen and select the regrets for each person. Okay. Aleli and Noe are number one. Cesar and Neida are number two. Raquel and Marvin are number three. And then the others, tell me if they make a mistake or if you don't agree, okay? Let's listen. Okay, teacher. All right. Page 76, exercise 11, listening. Regrets, part A. Listen to people describe their regrets. Complete the chart. One, Barbara. I always regret that I didn't take typing in high school. I was stupid, really. Once I got to college, I discovered I had to type all my assignments, and I sort of taught myself how to do it. But I can't type half as well as friends of mine who took it in high school. It takes me twice as long to type anything as it takes them. Two. Alex. I should never have stopped exercising. It's the dumbest thing I've ever done. I've been trying to lose weight for the last year and a half, and it's really difficult. I guess I was just like everyone else at my age. I thought I would be thin forever, and I ate junk food all the time. It was okay then because I was playing tennis, hockey, and soccer. Then, after college, I got busy and quit playing sports. But now I'm determined to join a gym because I know I can't get healthy by just dieting. Besides, I love potato chips. Three, Yishan. If I'd had a choice, I would have learned to play the guitar when I was a kid. My parents made me study the piano, and I only studied classical music. I love the piano, but it's not very practical. I mean, you can't take a piano with you to a party. But I love it at a party when someone brings a guitar and they can play songs and everyone sings along. I wish I could do that. Let's listen Page 76, more. exercise 11, part B. Listen again. What effect have the regrets had on each person's life? One, Barbara. I always regret that I didn't take typing in high school. I was stupid, really. Once I got to college, 
I discovered I had to type all my assignments, and I sort of taught myself how to do it. But I can't type half as well as friends of mine who took it in high school. It takes me twice as long to type anything as it takes them. 2. Alex I should never have stopped exercising. It's the dumbest thing I've ever done. I've been trying to lose weight for the last year and a half, and it's really difficult. I guess I was just like everyone else at my age. I thought I would be thin forever, and I ate junk food all the time. It was okay then because I was playing tennis, hockey, and soccer. Then, after college, I got busy and quit playing sports. But now I'm determined to join a gym because I know I can't get healthy by just dieting. Besides, I love potato chips. 3. Yishan If I'd had a choice, I would have learned to play the guitar when I was a kid. My parents made me study the piano, and I only studied classical music. I love the piano, but it's not very practical. I mean, you can't take a piano with you to a party. But I love it at a party when someone brings a guitar, and they can play songs, and everyone sings along. I wish I could do that. The program continues on the next CD. Okay, so for Barbara, what was for Barbara? What do we think? Number two. Um, Barbara didn't didn't take a typing classes in high school. Thank you. Pronunciation typing classes. Typing classes. Typing classes. Good. Typing. Good. What about for Alex? This was Cesar and Aneda. What is number two? It's possible. Um didn't learn to play the guitar as a kid? I, I think it's the third one. Uh, Alex stopped exercising. Mm, okay, so we don't agree. But don't worry. That's why we have Santiago and Morena to come up with the ideas. So, Santiago and Morena, what is number two? Number three, teacher. Stop ex exercising. Morena, do you agree? Stop exercise. Okay, so stop mm -hmm. exercising. Okay, all right. And the last one, number three, Ji Shun. Didn't learn mm -hmm. to play stop the guitar as a kid. Okay, number yeah. one, teacher. Number one, you agree. Didn't okay. learn to Excellent. play the guitar. All <laughs> right, very good. Excellent. Good listening. That's the idea. They didn't take typing. Alex stopped exercising, and Jin Shun didn't learn to play the guitar. Do we have any questions? Any questions for unit one or for this exercise? No, thank yes, you, teacher. No? Teacher, teacher. Yes, everything is good. <laughs> what is the meaning to stop at exercise? That means not to continue exercising. So the person stop exercising is no more continue, like English class. Oh, okay. If you say, no, this I finish. In this moment, I don't continue. Stop stop learning. This, in this okay. case, stop exercising. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. All right. Excellent. So that means that in this case, we are ready to begin unit two. Unit two, we have a small introduction video, and then we have a couple of objectives. The objectives are the infinitive clauses. Infinitive are two plus the verb. So we're gonna use, we're gonna learn how to use the infinitive clauses to describe purpose. First, we're gonna have a little introduction, and then we're going to see some examples. Ready for our next intro video? Watch it and take notes. Hi, this is Jacob with Campus TV. Today we're at Choice Cafe on University Drive. I'm talking to the owner, Lily Chen. Choice Cafe opened two years ago. Since then, students have been lining up for coffee and food. Why is Choice Cafe so successful? Let's find out. Thank you for agreeing to speak with me today. Choice Cafe is popular on campus. 
Yes, the cafe is doing very well. What's the secret to your success? I've been very lucky. And I have great customers. But it is hard. I think there are several reasons we do so well. We're popular because of our location, of course. For a cafe to succeed, it can't be off the beaten path. It needs to be where people can find it. You don't have to walk far. It's convenient, <laughs> right next to campus. But that can't be the only reason. After all, Central Cafe closed last year, and it was just one block away from campus. Did Choice put Central Cafe out of business? Yes and no. We were definitely in competition with each other, but Central Cafe didn't have comfortable seats. In order for a cafe to attract customers, it should have comfortable chairs. Our cafe is famous for its cozy atmosphere. Look at those chairs. The people can come here to relax, drink their tea or coffee, and study or read. Do you encourage people to stay a long time? I absolutely do encourage people to stay. I think that's the reason why they keep coming back. They can read, do homework, meet their friends, and during this time, they drink two or three cups of coffee and have a pastry. What about the food? Our food is made here, fresh every morning. We have a strong takeout business. People order food to take home or to eat outside. Outside? You mean on the grass, on campus? Anywhere. We do have tables outside too, but people do eat on campus. It's really pretty there. But it's nice to sit inside too. The atmosphere is great here. Talk about that for a minute. The lights, the music? Music is key to a cafe success. You need to make sure you have good music. I'm not an expert. I mean, I don't know much about music. But people who work here are students. They're tuned in. They know what's popular. So I let them choose the music. And people like it. Yes. And since I want to encourage people to meet their friends here, chat, read, so on, I make sure the music's not too loud. I mean, we can hear each other just fine, right? Right. Well, Lily, thank you. I've really enjoyed learning more about what makes Choice a successful cafe. You're welcome, Jacob. Come anytime. For Campus TV, this is Jacob signing off. All right. Tell me a little bit about the video. What's going on? What are some of the questions, some of the answers? that she is giving and the things that he is asking. Okay, the video was about an interview and the reporter were asking about this, what, what was the, the main reason of the success of the coffee, the campus coffee. So uh, she said that the, the main idea about the success of the coffee uh, was the atmosphere, the location of the business, and also the the comfortable shapes and and the music as well. Okay, very nice, good. And they asked about another business. Why did they ask about another cafe or another business? The yes. food? This space is very nice. Mm -hmm. Exclusive atmosphere. Okay, it's also about atmosphere. It's close. It's near the campus, right? Like in El Salvador. In El Salvador, now in the last five years, the cafes are very popular. Very popular. Not only Starbucks, but cafes. The, the, we have Ben's Coffee, and the Four Monkey, the, and we have many different cafes, many in El Salvador. So just like in other parts of the world, some people like to drink alcohol, some people like cafes. Okay. For One example, mm -hmm. if for example, example, Istanbul. For example, which there, one? They, there are a face, uh, where take your coffee in this uh, child in this any moment okay yeah so many people enjoy it that's the idea now what we learn from it is when they're explaining why this is the infinitive 
this is the purpose to ta 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 for this is the idea don't worry we're not going to practice but i want us to watch the video to have an idea for tomorrow so tomorrow we are clear with it so in this moment we're going to watch the video a little bit about it hi okay this is from describing purpose describing why something works okay 2.3 for you to be fluent in English, you need to keep up with all the lessons. So stay and learn how to describe purpose using infinitive clauses. Describing purpose. Infinitive clauses. To run a popular internet cafe, it's a good idea to have late opening hours. To establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have fashionable servers. In order to establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have fashionable servers. Infinitive clauses with four. For an athletic center to be profitable, it needs to have modern exercise equipment. For a shopping mall to succeed, it has to have a convenient location. Now here, I want to take a moment and explain the difference. If we look, two is going to be with actions, reasons, activities for no for is for the thing for classes to be successful for a business to run for a cafe to function remember the two explains what the action the four explains the business the situation like a movie hey luis what is a good movie oh for a movie to make money, it has to have action, has to have a good actor. It, okay, and this is the idea for the two, the explanation. It's okay, the difference between four and two? Yes, teacher, I start uh, with uh, infinity two. Uh, infinity clause with four is in the complement, the sentence. Okay, good. Four is for the thing, not for the action. Okay, for the object. In order for a shopping mall to succeed, it has to have a convenient location. To describe purpose, we may do so by using different types of infinitive clauses. We may use the infinitive clause to plus verb. For example, to succeed in business, you have to. Notice we began our sentence using to followed by the verb succeed or we may use in order plus infinitive example in order to succeed in business you have to we may add in order but it's optional if we omit it the structure stays the same the other way to describe purpose is by using infinitive clause with for for plus noun plus infinitive for a business to succeed it has to or in order plus for plus noun plus infinitive. In order for a business to succeed, it has to. Again, we may use in order, but it is optional. The structure stays the same if we omit it. Ready? Look at the picture of a coffee shop. For it to stay popular, what three things should be done? Type your suggestions on our discussion box. Okay. And that is our introduction of why something happens. For example, the last one, in order for a coffee shop to succeed, it has to be clean, okay? For a coffee shop to make money, it needs to, okay, have good food, play good music. These are the ideas. Don't worry, it's our introduction, but tomorrow we're gonna learn at describing purpose how or why things work okay okay teacher. all right guys thank you so much okay. remember if to complete unit one in the platform if you didn't complete complete unit one tomorrow we begin today the introduction but tomorrow we begin exercises unit two thank you thank you guys bye guys thank you good night, good night.